Hey everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fall of 4, You Only Live Once. Last time, things definitely did not go according to plan last time. The Deathclaw decided to get itself stuck in a building, and I had to go hunt it down with a nuke launcher, without a crit. And the thing almost bulldozed into me. This time, we're going to continue, but I just want to mention how this says good safe jobs jobs. Absolutely lovely. This time we're gonna go to Sanctuary and do the Strangers and Preston's quests. Alright, there he is. He's not in the, the river this time, which is refreshing. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgeon. Oh, and what do you look at that? A level up. And let's see. Oberland Station. You know, whenever I play this game without any mods, it's always 10 Pines Bluff over here somewhere. But ever since I've had some settlements, it's always been Oberland Station. And I don't know why. But let's talk to the kind stranger. Hi. All right, time to show you what else ASAMs can do. Now, generally speaking, people need a roof over their head, food in their bellies, and a place to be working. We already built a place someone could live. So if you're ready, let's move on to those other two things. Okay. Show me. All right. Place down a sensor again. But this time, we'll use one configured for food production. I like to put my farms over here. Yes! Gone are the days of citizens complaining over those ever-increasing grocery store prices. Thanks to Rocco Brand ASAM sensors. Never has it been easier for citizens to grow their own mouth-watering produce. It's so simple, even the wife and kids will want to get their hands dirty. For the finest in homegrown food, look to Rocco Brand ASAM sensors. And there we go, our own very plot of farmland. And there we have it, a fine plot of land ready for cultivation. This from the guy who wants underwater to cactus. I like it. Glad to hear. How do you underwater a cactus? A home, a farm. Next thing is a place to work. You know, somewhere folks can perform a little industry, gather scrap or do a bit of scabbing, that kind of thing. Go ahead. Put down an ASAM that's programmed for that. I've got just the spot. Settlements can only store junk with proper storage. Industrial gathering buildings will increase your max junk storage as well as collect additional junk each day. In addition, at Deadpool, you can build special junk storage crates found in the resource storage section of the Sim Settlements build menu in the workshop. Now let's just go ahead and build them one. Right there. Now we just need to wait for the stranger to appear and start working. Oh, you. Get to work. I've been watching you work for the past five minutes. Do you have anything to say? Oh, Fallout never change. Times are tough. There's no there we go. Citizens need never fear unemployment again. 
able to legally gather and store useful materials, your citizens will wonder how they ever did without a Rockgo industrial unit. Just one more in the long line of technological marvels brought to you by Rockgo brand ASAM sensors. Well, there we are. All basic necessities covered. Although folks won't be happy with the bare essentials forever, eventually they will want more. Now it's up to you what type of ASAMs you put down, but do try and keep in mind what folks in your sentiments will be needing. Excuse me, hello. Uh, don't shoot now. It's old I Paul. No I love old Paul. I hope you don't mind the intrusion. I couldn't help but notice all the commotion. What are you two youngins up to here? That is, if you don't mind me asking. Fixing up these buildings, are you? Yeah. Something like that. Actually, we just finished building these. Foundations, walls, everything. Is that so? Built them by yourself, did you? Well, you two looking to settle down here, or...? This settlement belongs to my friend here, not me. I was just demonstrating some construction techniques using this ASAM sensor. Construction techniques? Using that gadget there? <laughs> Sounds like Brahmin dung to me. Are you telling me you made all this using that gizmo? That's right. We're rebuilding. <laughs> you say that as if building stuff is easy. Hey, here's a suggestion. Why not offer the old timer residence here? Let him experience the benefits of sensors firsthand. That is, if you'd be interested in staying here. I'll admit, seeing you two build with those doodads did pique my curiosity. Huh. And it might be nice to settle down somewhere for a while. It is getting dangerous out there, especially for a scav past his prime. But, uh, would an old man like me really be welcome here? I'd welcome the help. Okay then, you got yourself a deal. Old Paul is at your service. Now if, uh, you'd excuse me a second, I, uh, want to check out this here sensor doohickey. How about that? Your ASAMs have already attracted their first resident. With that, I'd say our exchange of services is complete. Enjoy your ASAMs. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to the hardware store. Got a lot of important work to begin on with. What kind of work? I've got some... Ooh, I passed that. Matters ...I need to take care of. Some personal stuff. I'm sure you understand. It was good working with you. Yeah, you too. I should get going. Oh, and good luck with your settlement. Hey, where's that ASAM fella going? I wanted to ask him a few questions. Well, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. Uh, maybe you could. You're the head honcho around this place, right? Well, I've got a request to make. You see, I noticed that there's a whole bunch of new people around here, so I'm thinking it might be best to put down a few more of these here censored thingamabobs. You know, to make sure everybody's got a home, a place to work, and not to mention enough food. And water. That's a good idea. Well, I've been known to have a decent idea now and again. These ASAM things seem very impressive, but we can only make use of them if you place them down for us. Oh, I love old Paul. I'm pretty sure the voice actor is somebody's grandpa. And now they have their own IMBD uh, page. DB? DB. And now I get to go building. I'll bring you guys back when I've completed this little section. You guys watch me build? You probably don't want to see that. And wouldn't you know it, there's a rad storm. First one of the game. Thankfully, I had a nice lovely chair to sit down in. Yes, rad storms are going to be incredibly dangerous because they're guaranteed radiation damage. At least until I get access to a rad suit. All right, back to building. All right, so I did build some houses. Apparently I built five, but I can only see four. And I built some uh, scavenging settle plots. Uh, as you can see, 
a little glitched out. Oh, that's the fifth one. I accidentally put this one up too high. Oops. But I don't have enough materials to build the settlements. So let's go scavenging. Are you the one who put out the radio message? Is We had to leave her home. Everyone was getting sick. So, if you're looking for people and it's no trouble, well, we'd like to live here. Of course. Go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Just let us know where- mm -hmm. Alright. This settlement has really started to pop off. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go scavenging for some more materials because houses need a lot of asbestos to be built. And I keep on running out of it. Of course, a few of my plots will not over time collect asbestos for me. But there are a few settlements I want to kind of claim as my own. Abernathy, which is just down the way. By that power pylon has a quest for me, and I'd like to start it before or I go meet Jake, sorry, the stranger again, because I'm pretty sure that the quest that the stranger has me do that claim, uh, helps the Abernathy's out doesn't actually count towards uh, the settlement system for Fall, Fall of Four, the base game of Fall of Four. And on the way, just a little further on, there's a very useful magazine. I think those of you that are familiar with uh, survival mode know exactly which one it is. New here? There he is. <clears throat> so the Abernathy's want me to go out and retrieve their daughter's locket. Because raiders came by, and the daughter stood up to them, and they put a bullet in her brain basket. Do I still have my heart? I still have my heart hat. I'm pretty sure that if you activate this sent or this protector on, if you don't have a hard hat, he will start attacking you. But just to bypass that, I'm not going to activate him. That was more shots than I wanted it to be. Aluminium. Was that a tire being kicked around or was that the music kicking up into high gear? Just what I needed.
Fusion cells in 10 millimeters. Game, you spoil me. Ah. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shisty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. There's no way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Perfect. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. Oh yes, Eddie, the man he was referring to, is this very same Eddie that Nick Valentine is after. Alright, further south? Yeah, a little further south. For some reason, going this way always feels like I'm going east. No clue why. Now, it is a little dangerous down here because there are two blowflies somewhere by that truck. Maybe three. And I do not want to deal with blowflies. Because blowflies are one of the sc most scariest enemies in this game, believe it or not. They dip, duck, dive, and dodge out of your way, and they have projectiles that they'll constantly shoot at you. But up here is a random encounter spot. Oh, and that reminds me, I'm on two level ups. Since sneak is now available, I'm going to take that. It never hurts to be a little extra sneaky on a YOLO run. And Aqua Girl. That way then, I can go swimming and not worry about radiation damage. Oh, and sp speaking of plans and starting stats, start out with three. Strength, four on perception. I gained one from the bobblehead. Five on endurance, six charisma. Initially four intelligence, but I put the special book into it. Five agility and only one luck. Though, given how this run went initially, I feel like I should have put luck higher. Now for the plan. I am going to level Perception up all the way to rank 9 to get Penetrator and Sniper. At rank 2 of Sniper, I can knock down enemies with a scoped rifle, as long as it's a non-automatic scoped rifle. This includes the Combat Rifle. It's a 15% chance, and the Combat Rifle has a fairly decent fire rate. If you're thinking, wait a minute, that means enemies will just be knocked down constantly. You're right. That's my strategy. I'm going to knock down every single enemy and hope they stay down. And then Penetrator. It ignores armor, or er, ignores cover. And Power Armor is considered cover, which means I can directly target a Power Armor's fusion core, causing them to explode, or at least be disabled. Same thing with the Sentry Bot. For Endurance, I'm going to slowly pick it uh, move it up to 7 so I can get Adamantium Skeleton. Because if any of my limbs cripple, which there's a good chance, because I like to just walk into firefights all the time, then that crippled limb will stay crippled for the rest of the game. I can't... Yeah, I can't uh, heal it. Adamantium Skeleton prevents that. And Intelligence, I'm gonna get the bobblehead for the science work. Because with science, at Gunnut Rank 2 and Science Rank 1, I can put a, a recon scope onto my musket. Because in survival mode, you don't get a little pip. Oh, the hunger is starting to creep up. I probably should eat some food. Real rad There we go. And I saw a puppy go behind a tree. There he is, or she, and I had a miss.
I don't like that I'm in danger and the dog just ran away. Not even close. Not even close. I wasn't panicking at all. Well, yeah, in last episode, I know I walked right in front of a, Meyer Lurk, a bunch of Mirelurk eggs and could have grabbed them. But with Mirelurk eggs, that usually means there's going to be Mirelurks nearby. And I don't quite want to deal with Mirelurks at the moment. And then this is also a random encounter spot. And as you can see, there are a couple people. And they look to be raiders. At least I hope they're raiders. There's a chem dealer that looks off an awful lot like a raider. I can't get a vats lock, so I can't confirm. Yeah, they're just ever so slightly out of range. Farmer. They are raiders. Ah, oh, darn. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Well, that didn't go all right. I should not have just stood there and fired back. What's the damage? 17. I swear, I still haven't quite figured out that this is a YOLO run and not a standard survival playthrough. Because I'm playing it exactly like a standard survival playthrough. And in standard survival playthrough, you can heal. At least I got rid of those two ghouls. Danger? What am I in danger from? What? Don't tell me the robot is now hostile. I really need to start whispering. Because 
because whenever I speak, I can't even hear the game. Okay, the professor's still on, on my side. I think it may have been that rad roach. Switch to frag grenades before I throw a grenade and really regret it. Oh, that was too close. Ooh, we'll go on a bit. Ah, Wastelander Survival Guide. I'm starting to think it wasn't even worth it. How did I miss a point blank shot? It was just you, right? Yeah, it was just you. Ooh, surgical tray? I think. Oh, excuse me. A surgical, tr surgical tray is aluminium. And I'm gonna need a lot of aluminium. How am I missing my shots? Seriously, it's like point blank shots and I'm missing. Really? Really, pastry? Missing all of my shots. Literally all of them. Ah, there we go. And with that, let's call it a session right there. Thank you for joining me on my playthrough through Fallout 4. You only live once. This episode was something, wasn't it? Less scary than the last one, but I somehow got even more damage than the last episode. With that, as always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.